As it turns out, every hunt-focused YouTuber needs to have a tips and tricks video, so what the kids are calling a canon event. But as basic as this video might be, hunt is anything but basic. There's a lot of information left unsaid or simply hidden in dev blogs and random loading screens. This video aims to give new players a leg up and the experienced ones a chance to say, I knew that. You can cancel a bow draw by pressing the reload key, but there will be a slight delay before you can begin sprinting. I recommend instead canceling the draw by swapping weapons or quickly using dark sight. Jump shots are a thing, and not just on shotguns. You'll retain accuracy while jumping up to the apex of the jump's height. With a little practice, you can use this to get cheeky headshots on people holding an angle while you're behind cover. Speaking of jumping, you should really bind your jump and vault to separate keybinds. This will allow you to bunny hop near environmental objects and low cover without having it accidentally turn into a vault. An added bonus is that you can easily hop over fences and through windows without that pesky animation. And speaking of keybinds, Interact and Bandage can also be split to separate inputs. This will keep you from the rare but annoying instances where you end up interacting with a nearby object instead of, you know, stopping the status effect slowly killing you. Those segues were flawless and nobody can tell me otherwise. If your gun has an aperture sight, it can be flipped down to give you some extra versatility. This works on every gun except the Nitro and Silenced variants. Um, those aren't technically aperture sight. Nobody cares. Simply press your toggle weapon mode key and voila. On bolt action rifles that would normally require bullet grubber to avoid losing a round on a partial reload, you can continue holding down left click after firing to prevent the cycle animation. Then, while still holding left click, simply press reload and you'll circumvent the loss of a bullet entirely. Unfortunately, this will not work on the bear TA, something about having an internal clip or some other nonsense. You can also hold down left click while using dualies to continually fire just one of your guns, and you can double click out of a sprint to fire both guns almost simultaneously. Fire kills bees, and lanterns can be used to instantly neutralize poison barrels. Pretty straightforward. Choke bombs put out poison clouds. Also pretty straightforward. If you enable auto-interact in your game settings, you don't need to wait or look for the prompt when using the trait Dauntless to defuse explosives. You can just hold your interact key near the offending piece of equipment and boom. Or I guess, technically, no boom. Dauntless doesn't just work on your standard dynamite and frags, it also works on decoy fuses and choke bombs, and you can defuse any relevant throwables midair if you feel like flexing on someone. I'm probably the only person that needed to be told this last one, but when cooking anything with a fuse, the endpoint on the aim helper is predictive. When you throw the frag, choke bomb, or what have you, it will detonate exactly where that endpoint was at the time. This is important for accurate air bursting, so if you were confused like I was at one point, hopefully this one gets you a few kills. If this video was helpful at all, let me know. I will be happy to make more generalized tips and tricks style content. A Gun Astrology 2 video is in the works, I just need to gather more footage. So if anyone is interested in sending me clips to help speed up the process, feel free to join my Discord. I'll welcome anyone really, but you'll get special treatment. Fucking subscribe!